Time to see the quest free update to in depth. This is one of the more interesting ones because it's more about the lightning shadows and the overall overhaul of the environments pretty much. Because most of the games focus on the resolution enhancements, which sometimes it's automatic. They don't need to do anything fully. But the devs here, apparently, put some solid work. And I'm curious what's the payoff of it. I don't know what's my progress in this game anymore, like I've done a couple update videos. I think Desolation we've seen as well as a DLC. But what's also interesting is that this is a partial update, not to the whole game. Only Purgatory has it. So if that would mean there's just too much work to do at once or they decided to do it separately. Either way, I'm curious. In Death is a staple on the quest store, but we all know this at this point. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. The floor work? This is like I would be looking at the real life floor. This is the best thing that I've seen across every single game on the store. Like there's so much detail put into it. It's crazy. And it's interesting like specifically to this. I supposed to give you more immersion that you're actually here, which it works. That's actually the point of it. I also saw some effects around the enemies, like the mist. They also have shadows, like yeah, this is a very much full-fledged experience now. But let's start the game. <laughs> Need to remember how to aim like a pro. I do a lot of damage. I feel like I have a lot of achievements unlocked here. I'll come back to you. My hand is switching. Probably due to quest free controllers. Still aiming. I forgot I had the shield. I play around, I'm not playing seriously. Did I stop before when I was turning? This is kind of bothering me. I feel like this game would be best to play with Quest Pro controllers, cause this I did not experience before. And it's very specific to bow mechanics because one millimeter off and you're done. It's an arrow of Oh, 
Okay, well, <laughs> I'm pissed. There we go. I guess it's also because I focus on aiming for the headshots. Which is a good, like... Behavior. But also, it makes your gameplay so long. my microphone that's why there were some discrepancies in the recording oh that's a party I love the models now I wouldn't say it's a completely new game, but it's very much an enhancement. Shush it there. Then tomahawks. He didn't join the party. Is the statue, I promise. Oof. The rack though. Should we go to the boss area. I don't know if it's gonna be different because I think it's a uh, next area even though it's kind of like considering the same. Like I'm pretty sure there's a transition so I don't know if that's gonna be enhanced. It is quite a long distance so Maybe I'll try. Because there's not much else to see here. Jesus, that's pretty nasty. Okay, this is the area. And he's downstairs. They have hit me. 
I mean, I'm not gonna kill him because I need my cheese strat with explosive arrows. Should I try it like that? I mean, I'm pulling high damage somehow. Swarm. Let's see. I don't know. There's some lightning going on around me. And fog there. Got it. Oof. <laughs> that was quite a workout there. I don't know how many arrows did I shoot. I actually really appreciate this update because there was definitely much more work put here comparing to other projects that I've seen. It's nothing against the other developers, but this here I very much appreciate, even though the game is like two, three years old at this point, and still brings something new to the table, setting the standard, specifically here for the quest free enhancements. Looking forward to the other areas, although I would have to pass the first one first to see it. Though Paradise Lost it's easy, Abyss, I don't know. <laughs> A bit rude decision to split it in parts, but if it has to be done, then so be it and I'm gonna be checking out the others in due time.